Brothers and sisters in Christ, today we delve into one of the most profound questions that have echoed through the ages. What does Christ mean? This is not just a question of etymology or history. It is a question that penetrates the very heart of our faith and the foundation upon which our lives are built. The word Christ comes from the Greek word Christos, meaning the Anointed One. It is the Greek equivalent of the Hebrew word Mashiach, or Messiah. When we call Jesus Christ, we are affirming that He is the Anointed One, chosen by God to fulfill the prophecies of the Old Testament and to bring salvation to all who believe. In the Bible, the title Christ is not merely a name, it is a declaration of His divine purpose. In Matthew 16, 16, Peter confesses, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. This statement is not just an acknowledgement of Jesus' that identity, but a recognition of His role as the Savior of the world. But what does this mean for us today? How is this ancient truth relevant to our modern lives? Brothers and sisters, the answer lies in the very essence of what it means to be in Christ. In 2 Corinthians 5.17, Paul tells us, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. This is not just a promise for the future, but a present reality. Being in Christ means living in the power of His resurrection, embracing the new life that He offers, and walking in the freedom that comes from being set apart for His purposes. To be in Christ is to be part of His body, the Church, where we find our identity, our purpose, and our mission. In Colossians 1.27, Paul speaks of Christ in you, the hope of glory. This hope is not a distant dream, but a living reality that shapes our daily lives. It is the assurance that, no matter what challenges we face, we are never alone, for Christ Himself dwells within us. Reflecting on this, we must ask ourselves, are we living in the fullness of what it means to be in Christ? Are we embracing the new life that He offers, or are we still clinging to the old? Are we walking in the freedom of His grace, or are we burdened by the weight of our past? Brothers and sisters, the call to be in Christ is a call to transformation. It is a call to leave behind the things that hinder us and to press on toward the goal of becoming more like Him. In Romans 8.1, we are reminded, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. This is the good news of the gospel. In Christ we are forgiven, redeemed, and set free. Our sins have been washed away, and we stand before God clothed in the righteousness of Christ. This is the heart of what it means to be in Christ, to live in the freedom and joy of knowing that we are fully loved, fully accepted, and fully forgiven. But this truth is not just for us, it is for the world. As followers of Christ, we are called to be His ambassadors, to share the message of His love and grace with those who do not yet know Him. In Matthew 28, verse 19, Jesus commissions His disciples, saying, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This is our mission, brothers and sisters, to carry the name of Christ to the ends of the earth, to proclaim His salvation, and to live out His love in our daily lives. In conclusion, the meaning of Christ is not just a theological concept or a historical title. It is a living reality that transforms our lives and shapes our destiny. To be in Christ is to be part of His eternal plan, to live in His love, and to share His message with the world. Let us embrace this calling with all our hearts, knowing that in Christ we find our true identity, our purpose, and our hope. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, now and forevermore. Amen. Please like, subscribe, and share on social media. Thank you.